Giants, I'm Mike Onohas. And I'm Jack Sinatra. And this is Season 10, Episode 12 of Redwood TV. For those of you interested in learning a bit more about Redwood's history, here is a picture taken in 1958 of Redwood's very first principal, Don Kreps, with some students. If you're wondering what's up with the main building in the background, it was actually under construction during this time. Thank you, Jack. Giant Skrull, Redwood is going to be hosting a virtual movie night on the knockdown of the house on Friday, December 11th from 4 to 5 30 p.m. There will also be an anonymous discussion afterwards about the woman's issues presented in the film, but that will go no longer than 6 p.m. If you want to learn more about this or register, please see the link in the description. What, again? Now I know I paid my bills. What am I gonna do? I did not prepare for any of this. Well, hey, thankfully, Ben made us a video on how to manage power outages during school COVID. Let's check it out. Due to strong winds and wildfires in the fall months, PG&E occasionally shut down the power in Marin County. Our team looked at some of their tips and added a few of our own to help you survive online school in the event of a power outage. Our first tip is manage your power. If PG&E has scheduled a power outage in your area, make sure to charge your phone, computer, and any other devices you may need during the power outage. In addition, if you cannot charge your devices in time or at home, you can go to community centers or cafes that provide free outlets. Our second tip is managing data efficiently. You should turn off roaming for all applications that are not a necessity during the power outage in order to save data and battery life. In addition, you can create hotspots through your cellular device and connect your computer or Chromebook to that to join a Zoom call. If you cannot use your computer or Chromebook, most phones allow you to join a Zoom call. If none of those work, you can go to cafes or community centers that will provide free internet in a pinch. Our third tip is to make sure you stay connected during a power outage. If you know a power outage is going to happen in your area, email all of your teachers beforehand to let them know that you'll be missing class. If it's an unexpected power outage, make sure you contact your teachers as soon as possible. It is your responsibility to check agendas and reach out to classmates to understand what you may have missed and what the homework may be. fourth tip is to take the time during a power outage to relax. If you know a power outage is going to happen, you can prepare by downloading movies or TV shows or picking out good books to read. I recommend taking the time to go outside, go on a hike, and enjoy the time away from a screen because we've been on Zoom calls for the past few months every single day. So enjoy your time away from a computer. We've also attached a list of other tips by PG&E and Samuel Google. Okay, I got the power back on. There's a little bit of a misunderstanding something, but you know the heater's still not working properly, so I had to get myself a jacket, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but now that Ben gave us tips on how to prepare for our next blackout, we'll be all good. Exactly, you need that, believe me. Okay, now, if you want to learn a little bit more about endangered species or help to protect them by making things like birdhouses, then you might want to join the Endangered Species Club. They meet every Thursday at 11.15. To learn more, email denia.middleman at student.tamdistrict.org. Thank you, Jack. Sustainable Fairfax is another group which promotes and enacts environmentally sustainable principles and practices. They'll be having community chats every Tuesday on the third week of each month, so feel free to stop by. Now we are going to interview Berta Bunch about her music career. My name is Berta Bunch. I'm a senior. So, um, my friend, Miles, who put out songs um, a few years ago and still is doing that, I just asked him when I knew that I wanted to start. Basically, there's like online distributors that are for, they're made for independent artists. Um, and so, you basically just have to log in. You pay monthly, um, the distributor, um, and you just put in your information of the songs, you put on your album cover, you put um, everything in there and it takes two to three weeks for it to get onto Spotify and iTunes, usually sometimes longer. 
um, because since you're not on a record label and they can't push it through for you, um, Spotify and iTunes has to like verify everything, make sure that it's good quality, it's not terrible, and that people can actually hear it, or it's not something that should not be on Spotify. Um, they have to verify your art, they have to verify your actual songs, um, and you can get put on like Spotify playlists, but that's if, you know, millions of people are streaming you. Corona is probably the only reason that I got those two songs out, because I had so much time on my hands that I never had. Um, I, I wasn't working on producing real before Corona happened, I just had the song, and I had written the song, and then when I had all this time, I had so much time, we all had so much time, and I was so excited. I, it was so nice to have that time, like, and I wouldn't, I probably would not have had those two songs out at all, or been working on stuff right now. If you love music, and you want to do it, and you really want to do it, and you, that's all you want to do, then do it. You have to be determined, and you can't let little things get to you. Um, because I, I feel like I waited too long to get on social media and put myself out there um, because I was worried about what other people thought who knew me. And I was like, oh, well, they're gonna think it's cringy and weird. And there's no point in doing that because if you love music and you love writing and producing and that's all you've ever wanted to do, then go out and do everything you can to do it. Inspired by the beautiful scenery of Marin County, two boys decided to come together to express their passion and awe through the ancient and sacred form, that is, art. With hard work, determination, and countless hours of effort, the boys came together to make their pieces, calling their collective works, the soul of Marin. This is their story. This is number one champion sound, yeah, yeah Estelle, we about to get down. get down. You're the hottest in the world right now, just touch down in London. Hi, would you like to buy some art? Would you like to buy some art? It's called it's the Soul, Soul of Marin. That's our collection. This, this signifies how people spend too long sitting down and doing nothing. And these are the three chakras. Would you like to buy some? Oh no, alright, you have a good day. Have you been suffering? Or are you in pain? You might need some art to help you with that. Get your art here. Discounted. Discounted. You need some art? Oh, baby. All right, you have a good day. Hey, what are you guys selling? Some oh, art. 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 I'm selling art? I had a friend right. that was a painter. Okay. Oh, really? It's gonna rain. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's going to rain. Oh, we got to go. Oh, all right. right. Hey, have thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. You have a nice day. Thank you. Oh, do a dance. Like, stand at the corner. It's your art. You don't want to start. You need your art. Your art. You don't need to start. You need your art. Hi. Would you like to buy some art? Would you like some art? It's a soul of Marin. No? I hate this art. This art hurt me. God. Art's such a stupid thing. Oh. <laughs> With everything lost, would the inspiration that fueled their passion ever come back? Would the boys ever reconcile again? Unfortunately, these and many other questions will remain unanswered. And it is with that that we close the chapter in this book, the story of the short but proud soul of Marin. Shame you had to destroy such beautiful pieces of artwork. I mean, I might could have bought one of those off you, you know? <laughs> anyway. In other news, December 14th is the last day where you can guarantee yourself a yearbook, so make sure that you do that. It can be purchased on the Redwood store through the Redwood website. Thank you, Jack. I remember Giants. I might go. And I'm Jack. And since this is the very last episode of the semester, we wanted to wish you good luck on finals. And 